Okay, let's get this party started. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, or welcome for the first time. Today I'm going to be building a BFG50A, and yeah, I'm just going to be putting together handguard, handguard, a receiver, and making a baby. So I'm going to show you everything that goes into putting the barrel, gas tube, gas block, scope rail, butt pad, lower, bipod, just all of it together. I'm not going to show building a lower on this video because we're out of parts for it. Can't really show that. We've already used up, we've already built them all ahead of time. So I'm not going to take it apart and undo all the Loctite just for this video. Sorry guys, but if you want to see it, I'll do it another time when we actually get more parts in. First we have the barrel, then there's the receiver and the handguard, muzzle brake, lots of little parts, the scope rail screws, barrel retaining nut, and the handguard nut, the bolt handle, take down pin. What is this called? I forget. <gasps> This is a lifesaver. It's really dirty and disgusting and I need my own that isn't on the wall, but yeah, it's useful. The recoil spring, gas tube, gas block, the lower, butt pad, bolt carrier, and scope rail. So let's put it all together. Of course now there's a sandblaster going on, so let's hope you can hear this. And I also apologize for all the grossness behind me, but hopefully you can just watch the work at hand still enjoy the video. Maybe you didn't even notice all the crap behind me, and if you just now did, then look away, because it's ugly. Okay, let's get this party started. And it's not a party without bacon, so of course I brought bacon to the party, and you're welcome. Don't go bacon my heart, which is very corny. And I think this is actually a nightgown. So, I'm doing this video in my pajamas. I need a piece of leather. I don't know where it went. <coughs> I hope you all are having a great day, and if not, maybe this will make it a little brighter. I just, I'm going to try to do this better than I built the RN50, because that was pretty comical. I mean, comical is good, but I don't want you to think that I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know. Yes, I do. Alright, yeah, we clamp the, um, is this the trunnion? I have no idea. You gotta clamp the thickest part in the vise because if I crunch the receiver, I will be fired. Not really, but I should be. What we're gonna do is put the scope rail on, and I like to give it a little bit of lube. Man, the things that I've learned working here, it's amazing to know how much I didn't know when I first started working. I didn't even know how to work a drill. A drill. I'm serious. I did not know how to work a drill. What can I say? I was always a girly girl growing up, and now I'm building guns. That's just how life works, guys. It really isn't, I know, but that's how life works for me, anyway. You don't want to tighten them all the way because once the barrel is in, that's when we're going to straighten the scope rail, which I have crooked eyes apparently and I can never tell when the scope rail is straight, so it always has to be redone after I do it. The joke's on my brother because I already clocked in today and I'm only building one gun in the span of like two hours because of filming, so I don't make very much per hour anyway, so now comes the fun part. And by fun part, I mean the most torturous part of the whole gun building process. At least for this one. Basically, this little devil right here is the, um, the bolt stop. It came to me eventually. The, uh, it just gets screwed in so that it's sitting on the inside like that. Or when the bolt goes back, it'll stop against it. At least that's my understanding of it. So yeah, I'm gonna go do that and then I will come back. So now that that nightmare is over, I finally got the bolt stop in. It didn't take as long as I thought, but it still was too boring for video. So the next part is putting the barrel in. And first, I drop the part, gotta check and make sure that it works. 
Yes, you're a strong part. You work well. Oh, yeah, I'm filming. Quite sure you're funny. Is that on? Yeah. Ooh. Ew. Ew. Why do you smell like that? Like what? <laughs> Clean. It's like, it's a strange... This is me expressing myself. And this is me expressing myself, okay? There it is. I hate this job. I hate this goddamn job and I don't need it. I hate this job and I don't, no, I hate this job and I don't need it. Okay, so now that the barrel indexing pin is in, go away. Get out of here, you didn't help me with anything. So now with the barrel indexing pin facing downwards, there's a little groove in the receiver that it is supposed to line up with. The funniest thing happened the other day. I was trying to get a barrel out of one of these and my dad's friend was trying to help me and we neither of us remembered that the barrel doesn't screw in and we were trying to unscrew the barrel for the longest time and it didn't work. <laughs> barrel retaining nut and it already is degreased so putting a little bit of blue Loctite on it <laughs> We're going to use our trusty no-go and go gauges to make sure that it is headspace properly. The purpose of the no-go and go gauges is to check the head spacing on the bolt and make sure that it fits properly. In this case, for this specific gun, I had to actually change out the bolt that was in that bolt carrier because it wasn't fitting right. So we have a variety of different bolt sizes that we switch out to make sure that each gun works the way that it's supposed to. A total professional here. I haven't only worked here for a few months, but you know. <laughs> it's not normal, but I guess that's the whole premise here at Serpent Firearms. We're just not very normal. I wonder what percent of you actually watch this video just to see if I'm gonna do something terribly wrong. Which, again, is very bad. It's bad, you cry. You cry. Bad, you cry. Okay. I don't know how am I supposed to know which is which. Um, by having a break. Oh, yeah. Oh, you f I don't get paid.
hate enough.